What is up, everyone? It is Metro Game 75. Here today we're playing Stolen Wife. Yes, there's more to this title, but still, if you get what it is, then you already know. Anyways, let's get started. Akiro. And sent. With that last able to a client, the workday is over. Ah, the view output the window gets dark. A bell echoes within the building, a signal at the end of the day. Schedule. It feels as if there's is no end to work in these busy times. But it could be much worse, really. Being able to go back home in time was good enough. The company Akihiro Tractory works for is an intermittently, inter intermediately a tra trade agency. Jeez, I can't even talk today. What? It specializes in established exports and import routes between foreign countries for rare earth elements, minerals, and even food products. Contact the other companies that may have difficulty finding foreign counterparties on their own establishment. Establishing a connection with companies in a similar position and a charging fee. Similar to a couple's therapy. That's what the higher-ups say, at least. Intermediate between foreign countries can be stressful, but it's worth doing. It's kind of a job Akira has been aiming for since his days as a student. Alright, time to finish up already. Good job, everyone. What? Are you sure? You don't want to go drinking with everyone? Today's the boss treat, you know. Though he had prepared to leave, Akiro's work colleagues tried to convince him otherwise. Sorry, I already told you the boss today. Today's, huh? Today's this guy's wedding anniversary, so he's got to go back home already? Akiro receives a pat on his back, along with his grin at a friendly right. Kami Tiro, Akiro's co-worker and longtime friend. Come on, you don't have to tell everyone. <laughs> you are you are blushing, buddy. You should be proud of being such a good husband. I see. So you haven't been married for that long. You don't have time for us. Yeah, don't be mad at him, Sonoda. Send him off with a smile. Yeah, she's talking the truth right there. She is talking the truth. Though she may sound different, that's her usual tone. But the feeling is a sense of reprimand from her is inevitable. <laughs> Thanks, I'll definitely join next time. Don't worry about it. Send my regards to your wife. Well, get going already. You don't want to see Akane pouting. You know how she gets. Right, I'm off then. Akiro and his wife Akane and Hikami, the three have been close friends since they were students. So of course he knows what he's like, what she's like, very kind, but fears when she gets mad. Unlike, unlike Akiro, who has an uptight persona, persona litty, pers personality, god damn. Hikami's a laid back, kind man, though their personalities don't match, they have always gotten along. And even though they didn't plan it, after graduate, they ended up working for the same company. It must have been fate. Until next time, let's go for a bit sometime. To say hello for, to Akane for me. Yeah, alright, see you. As Akane waved and Mai bowed her head, Akira made his way out of the office. Oh, right at that moment, he bumped into someone rushing in. Ah, Ryuzaki. I'm leaving earlier today. Now, if you excuse me. Ah, Akira Jr. Ryuz, Ryuzaki Kenya averts his eyes and probably lowers his head. That's all. Reserve as always. It's not just that he's quiet. He's, Akira noticed his lack of communication from the moment he joined the company. As his colleague, he wanted to tell him to fix his attitude to speak up more. But there was no time for that now. I'll speak with him later. With nothing left to do, Akira walked past him. Ryuzaki is simply stared and says as Akira left. Good grief! Sheesh.
I'm home. The moment he returned, an appetizing aroma tickled his senses. Oh, damn, this is my wife? She looks pretty hot. Well, what we have here? Akira remembers out a laugh. Kane had prepared a feast which has nearly displayed over the table. You went far and beyond. I don't know if we can, we can eat all this. Akira wasn't a delicate eater, but she was gluten either. He asked him if there was food for at least four people there. We, we are all set here. But do you want to take a shower first? Now, the party is today's main attraction. After all, you two need to change my clothes right either. And dress like this, I'm more formal. Not too much, I think. Akira quickly checks his own body color. He knew he couldn't be stinking during the celebration. Ah, right. Having a woman lean over and smell his odor makes him blush. Even though they had been married for three years soon, to be four, Akiro feels his distance from his wife is no different from their student days. He still was an awkward mess when it came when it came to women, and she of course could see right through it. Ever since they've been married, she called him that to either mock him or just give him some harsh advice. Right now, she was doing both. Sorry, I just keep getting nervous, perhaps, because I've never had luck with girls. Akane puts, puts on a troubled smile. That gentle smile was the same smile Ak Akira remembers from their student days. Might be Akane's fault that I can't shake off the same feelings I had back then. Uh, but he wouldn't actually say that, of course. Ah, uh, yeah. As he was hanging up his clothes, Akira looks over his shoulder. As he was hanging up his clothes, Akira looks over his shoulder. <sighs> Akira couldn't think of anything to say. All of Akane's food was great. She used to think her cooking was nothing special, but with some motivation she certainly improved. And she, he was the one who could see the improvement to closes. Think of it was that way. Made him feel special. The food was delicious, but hey, shouldn't we go somewhere today to celebrate the occasion? <sighs> hmm, well, I guess so. Funds for the idea home saving for when when kids don't come around. I kind of have proposed very hard to save money for that goal. Akira had planned to take her somewhere fancy, but she's already putting a stop to it. With the pretext what that they would celebrate every year, anyway, she has always said that there's no need to do anything fancy. For our first anniversary, we did something special. I guess we may do something a bit more grand on particular occasions. Like on our 5th, 10th anniversary. Work is so busy they can barely find time for one another. At least at times like this, perhaps they... They could and let themselves go with no guilt. Three years, huh? More than the double the time since they met, had met in high school. Time went by so fast. <laughs> what? No. Man, what is up? Why did she even think I'm thinking of something weird? I was just re reminiscing. You know, it's thanks to Hikami that we met, right? 
Hikami mentioned there was a beauty of a girl in the next class and dragged Akira to check her out. Akira wasn't too eager about it, but still followed along reluctantly to think that one would become my wife. Life sure is full of surprises. <laughs> what? Uh, no, that, that, that's not it. That's not it. No, can't. It cannot be. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, let, let's let's have a quiet giggle. So you don't remember me there? Well, I don't really stand out much to begin with. Damn. He could remember the time they met. But she was right. Soon they were close. However, he couldn't remember any details of how that came to be. They shared an interest in reading novels and often met during school assembly meetings. Just a few trivial things like that. They grew closer to one another and soon he couldn't stop thinking about her. Even so, I, I wouldn't have never thought I'd end up marrying her. Like the time you sang death metal at school festival? <laughs> For a while, they enjoyed reminiscing and talking about old times. I could also took the chance as payback for getting mock, mock earlier. Leaving Akane's dark past aside, he also had plenty of blunders. He also made me always be messing around with Hikami at the time. So in the end, it was him who lost the mocking battle. Alright, that's enough. You win. Bringing up the girls' restroom incident is foul play, though. Akane played, put on a trumpet smile as Akiro tried to brush off his memories. But he wasn't really flustered about it, though embarrassed they were all good memories. <sighs> By the way, you are fine with coming up. Business trip, right? Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. To celebrate the company's 30th anniversary, they'll be hosting a recreational trip. It'll be a hot spring it's an excursion of three nights and four days. Participants are allowed to bring their families along. And so Akane was invited to. I'm always working and I couldn't take her anywhere. It's been three years and in our only trip is because of my job. I can't really want to take her out of their own volition. But Akane seemed to understand. As Akane casually laughs, Akira can't help but feel he doesn't deserve her. I should stop feeling so guilty about it and try to make the most of this trip for her. Oh, I got something for you too. Akira brushes off his negative thoughts and gets up to find the present he had prepared. He had no fashion sense at all, so he could do was trust the choice of the store clerk. Ah, that's right, I should say it too. Thank you for these three day, three years. After hearing Akiro's words, that was the modest anniversary of the Tak Takatori couple. <laughs> She's blushing. <sighs> Sorry, I just got the numbers mixed up and Damn. She dismisses his excuse and turns her back to him. Thank goodness I don't work in an office like that. Ryuzaki returns to his seat in silence. You sure are tough on him. The fact that Ryuzaki got into the cubby through connections was an open secret. 
Nobody knew he who got him in, but what everyone didn't know was that he was not cut for our job. If he was sociable, that'd be at least be something. Akira chuckles at her harsh words. So Noda Mai, who had joined the company around the same time as Akiro and Hikami, has always had this harsh attitude. When she introduced herself to the co-workers, she even said, I'm not very friendly, but I make up for that with hard work. And she honored those words by counting, by continuing to work non-stop. That said, she does not have a sense of humor. And after years of working together, her co-workers came to understand her better. She just doesn't let her emotions get to her face. Yeah, same here. The trip was the next day, so the company was su would be suspending would suspend business for four days. There is no guarantee that there won't be any problems after the trip, so nobody wants to have anything left over. And for that reason, Ryuzaki's performance was irritating. Adding to that, his ad attitude Akira wasn't happy with him either. Yeah, he's making some courtesy visits to everyone before he we leave. It'll take him in a good walk to come back. Why do you ask? Hmm, you, you're just making it sound important. What is it? The moment he heard the name Onishima, I got really tense. I see, so President Onishima will be coming? Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, well, Onishima Michinari, he's the president of a major clan that holds strongest ties and influence over this one too. An old style manager who basically thinks he's above everyone else. He's hard to deal with and most employees avoid him if they can. I feel sorry for you. Be the one in charge of him. The department chief had to put their her in charge of him. It's rumored that the manager did that to spite her, since she had such an excellent performance. God, that guy must be a tough airhead, huh? Said the manager has since left the company after a personal change. It seems that Mai continues to work at Odishima because he had taken a liking to her. Oh no, that is a yikes. That is a red flag right there. He, he said that? That's a whole red flag, bro. I, I will be pissed. Mai keeps talking about that with her usual tone. How did that harassment develop? And how did Onishima come to like her? I could have wanted to ask, but it was probably best to avoid topics such as harassment. In any case, I'll have to be careful around him. Right, you'll be around too. As long as she was around, they were all happy to at least greet all executives that might show up. I'll be careful to not do anything that might set him off. My nods. Akiro had heard about how employees who got in his wrong side ended up losing their jobs. He had connections and influence to make it happen. Although if it's all I'll do is greet him, there's no way I could make him angry. With just standard polite greeting, Akiro decided to simply stick to that. Damn, that guy. It's like talking to the President of the United States. I'm back. Man, I'm tired. They just kept talking and talking. Oh, hey, you've been out all day. Not a second of real work in the office. Ah, cut it out. That was too hard work. Hey, he kind of certainly look worn out. By the way, Saki is at her parents' place, right? Yeah, we'll be traveling while she's just lazy around. It's been three days already. Well, we'll say that they that the early stages of the pregnancy can make people pretty unstable. So I guess it's best for everyone if they're, if she's there. 
the thought of that childish attitude of Ikami's wife came to Akiro. So you are on your own these days? Yes, both Saki and child and the child in her belly are at her parents. Then how about you? How come you, you come over for dinner today? You haven't been to my place in a while. They're at your place, you say? You don't have to come if you are still busy preparing for tomorrow. No, I'm, I'm all pack already. Just gotta bring my baggage. You always eat junk food when you are on your own. I'm sure you need some nutrition. Coming out always had an unbalanced diet. It was only after getting married to that wife fed him more balanced food. But now she was not there for that. How can people do the same for him? <laughs> she and Hikami had been friends for a long time after all. So she knew about his eating habits. Hmm, well, okay. Guess I'll let myself enjoy some of Akane's home cooking. Alright, I'll let Akane know she's learned a lot of new dishes, you know. Looking forward to it. The work day ended earlier in preparation for the next day's trip. After getting Akane's okay, Akiro took Akane to his house. Here we go. Ah, after dinner. Alright guys, that is the end of today's video of Stolen the of Stolen White. Jeez, I cannot say anything today. But anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Let's hit 10 likes on this video. If we hit 10 likes, I'll do another one of this again. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.